So in this video, I'm going to go over how to work with the tabs element. So here in the builder, I'm going to search for tabs here. There it is. So tab elements really nice if you have a lot of content and you don't want it all displayed at one time. You just want to show uh, different tabs that users can go through. This is really good to do this. So this first field up here, this tab title, it appears right here. It's kind of hidden by this tabs thing here, but this is where you'd show it. So I could say like page through our options or something like that. And then we can change the tab style here. So as you can see, as I go through the tab style, it changes the way they look. So I'll go with line bottom here, make the tabs horizontal or vertical, depending on the way you'd like your website. So if you want it to be a sidebar style, you can, or if you want it to be an overhead style, you can do that as well. So then uh, the, Cool. So then nav style right here, we have normal or uppercase. So if we do normal, you can see it goes, uh, it's not bolded anymore and uh, it's now caps case or we do uppercase, it becomes bold, uh, uppercase. Uh, usually it's what we like to do just because it shows like these are the items that you click on, these are the headings. Uh, it, just, it gives them a little more distinction from the content inside the tabs. And the tabs alignment here, we can center them, right align them, Whenever it's uh, whenever it's vertical, it'll always be on the left here. But if I were to switch it to horizontal, you can see now the tabs are in the center. Then down here, we can add some CSS classes. If you're familiar with that, you can do that right here. And then you can edit the classes you just named in the uh, CSS editor in the site. And then here we have visibility, so we can set different options for different size devices to make uh, everybody's experience great, no matter where they're at. So I can hit apply on here. And now we're back here. I can expand this tabs thing right here and you can see I have three tab panels. So if I click into this tab panel here, I can double click this and you can see the title. So tab one title here, I'm gonna name it um, example one, just so we can see that it changed. And then here's where I can add elements inside of the tab. So I'll add this paragraph here. I will open the text editor. I can make this tab one contents. And then same thing for tab two. I can double click on this. I can name it example two. Hit apply, hit update. And add a text box element to this tab as well. And hit apply and update. And then you can see here, for as many tabs as you have, if you want, you can scroll through the content. It'll hide what's not clicked on and it'll show what it is clicked on. And this will dynamically resize. So if you have one tab, that's real tall, has a lot of content. Then another tab that doesn't have so much content, it's a little bit shorter. It'll dynamically resize on your page so you don't have to worry about your tab element showing a bunch of unnecessary white space. So that's pretty nice. And this was an overview of the tabs element. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. We'll be more than happy to help. Thank you.